All right, so my first question for you guys is obviously your tandem writing and directing team. How does that process work, working together? We had to approach it in the same way that we write together, which is always sort of in the same room, uh, playing, uh, throwing ideas at each other, bouncing them off and seeing what sticks. Uh, we knew that we couldn't uh, take over one particular facet while the other person does something else, one person doing the, the, the comedy and the other person dealing with the camera stuff. It we might be that, easier if we could do that. Oh, we would have split up the been half tasks, the time, but yeah, for we sure. We never really do. No. Is, is that the only system that you want? Was that like your only choice? That Was that what you wanted I to do? I think so, yeah. because it's like we're, we're half of one brain in a way, and we bounce stuff off each other. And so, I mean, that's, that's the advantage of it in comedy, is that you're not in a vacuum. Probably when you're dealing with a drama, it, it's better for there to be truly one voice, because I don't think we could bounce sad ideas off each other to see who cries more. <laughs> but we do cry. We yeah. do cry. That's good, I mm -hmm. can imagine. So obviously I assume you guys are both fans of the original. Absolutely. Versions. And what is it like going from being a fan of something to being the ones chosen it's to carry the It's interesting. Yeah, you have to really, you have to kind of distance yourself from it and be critical and look really hard at what works and what doesn't work and not be too sort of enthralled by what you have always loved. We had so, to approach the process very carefully carefully too because we know since it is such a beloved franchise we don't want to disrespect it in any way or redo anything that's already been done so it definitely had to be a continuation of that story and not a remake. We took the elements that we felt like were essential which is sort of that Griswold DNA that, that Clark had and that Rusty now has but we tried to invent all new kind of a world for them. And then getting Chevy and Beverly back. It was I mean, crucial, yeah. it was crucial to us because we know that you know they're the ones that started it all and uh, it was fun to see them re-embody those characters. I think they had a, a blast being able also, to do it that. It sort of telegraphs the audience like, give this a chance because we approve <laughs> it, we're in it. You yeah, know? definitely. And I mean, you arranged pretty much a comedic super team with your cameos. And yeah, it was unbelievable, yeah. How much fun was it being It was awesome. It's like yeah. each week was a different movie because you had this rotating, this revolving cast of funny people coming in. Yeah, so the fact that it's a road trip comedy allows all these different set pieces in different locations and to be able to work with such a diverse group of comedic actors was, was so much fun. And what made Ed and Christina the perfect fit? Well, Ed, we always had in mind for the script when we first wrote it and so for him to come on board was definitely the, the, the first reward of the whole experience and then Christina is is uh, such a such a talent on her own and the fact that uh, she was willing to do this we knew that we had to do her justice by really diving into her character and giving it a bunch of layers that come to the surface over the course of the movie yeah. and so now that it's all the, you tackled the script, you tackled the directing you see back. Was, or was it something that you're, was it everything you imagined? Was it? You never yeah, want to do it again. Yeah, yeah no, do we're again. done. Um, <laughs> no, we're very happy with the final product. Like, we feel like we, we sort of accomplished what we set out to do, which is just to make the funniest movie we could, but also it has some emotional element to it where you're keying into this family, you're rooting for them, they have relatable problems that by the end of it they've made progress on. And so I think we're, hopefully we've walked that line. And why do you think this was the right time for it? For this? It's funny, it can, all the pieces sort of fell into place in, in over the timeline that we, we were given. Um, I know that they wanted to revamp this movie uh, a, a long time ago, but it just took a while to find those right elements. And, I, I, and you know, it's, a, it's such a timeless theme, too, the family vacation, that you could have really explored it at any moment in time. And uh, just the fact that we were able to bring this cast together was, uh, was such a joy. I think we were waiting for Ed to get to be the right age so we could make the <laughs> yeah, sequel. When he was a dad. Uh, yeah. Well, I have to congratulate you guys on the news about Spider-Man. Can we talk about that? Or I, not? We can't. Okay, no, I didn't no, know if we could or not. I have to. No, my, no, my I know. I know. Of course, of no, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's completely yeah, fine. Well, no, we don't know what you're talking you under about. The table. Okay, I assume so. I Appreciate assume it. So. so, congratulations on that. And Appreciate whatever it. news may be happening soon. So, of course, <laughs> thank you guys so much for Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Nice. Hey You Guys.